Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, I will quickly show you how you can install Linux Mint alongside with Windows 10. For example, if you like to use Linux for more privacy and more safety, but you find that there are some programs that are missing on Linux and you need to use them anyway. In this case, you can install Linux Mint alongside with other operating systems such as Windows 10, or it could be any other operating system. I will put time codes in this video so you can follow through the step that you need to go through. If you have already seen my other videos where I show you how to download the ISO, how to flash it onto the USB drive, you can skip those steps and go straight to the step number three, where we're gonna be installing Linux on the computer to follow through all the steps. But if you haven't seen my other videos, this video is gonna be a full complete installation guide for beginners. So you can follow through the steps and then you're gonna be able to install Linux Mint on your computer alongside with Windows 10. All right, let's get started. And before we start, if you're new to the channel, please take a second to subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss new coming up videos. And if you find this video helpful and you like it, please support it with a like, I appreciate it very much. Okay, let's get started. So just like before, we're gonna start the web browser, then in the search field, gonna type Linux Mint. Then you just gotta press on the download button right here. And as you can see, the current version of Linux Mint is 20.3, the code name Una. The one that was before was Uliana in my other video. And this new version of Linux has three different editions. First one is called the Cinnamon Edition, and it is the most popular one. This is the one we're going to be downloading today. It's actually one of the best. It is very slick and has a lot of features. But if you want to have something more robust and that requires fewer resources, you can download the Mate Edition. The installation process is going to be identical and if you have a very old machine that doesn't have much resources i would suggest you go with the xfce edition because it is the lightest edition of linux mint and is basically meant to run on almost any machine you can also find installation instructions if you click on this button right here it gives you all the different links where you can go and find how to install it on your own but if you want to watch this video to the end, you can just follow the steps in this video and then you're going to be able to do it yourself. All right, let's keep going. So you just got to click on the download button. Then we just got to find the closest server to our location so we can download it faster. As you can see, there are different servers. So you can definitely find the one that's closest to you so you can have the maximum or the fastest speed to download. Let's go ahead and try this one. As you can see, it's 2.1 gigabytes, so it will take a few minutes to download. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward and then we're gonna get back when the download is complete. Okay, there we go, so download is complete. Now we need to go ahead and download Balena Etcher. This is the program that's gonna be flashing this ISO file to the USB stick. So you're just gonna type in Balena Etcher. And there we go. So just gonna click on the first link in the search. You can click on the download for Windows. There are also one for the Mac OS, if you're using the Mac OS, but we're just gonna download one for Windows. Once it's downloaded, you can go ahead and install it. And then we're just gonna go ahead and start it. I have already started it here. So this is a very simple program, but it works really good. So next, you just got to click on this flash the file. Then we just got to choose the Linux Mint ISO file that we have just downloaded, then double click on it. Then we're going to need a simple USB stick. You just got to insert it in the computer, then select target. And as you can see, I have this 125, or it's actually 128 gigabyte USB drive. You can choose a smaller USB drive, like a four gigabyte, but it's really hard to find one nowadays. So I'm going to have to use this large USB stick just for that but then you can delete it afterwards. You don't have to use it all the time. You just gotta format it and it should be fine. You just click select and then you just gotta click on flash. But just as a reminder guys, before you click flash, make sure this USB stick doesn't contain any other important files for you because it will format it and it will remove all the files on this USB stick. So if there's any important files for you, then they're gonna be gone. If you're sure there's nothing there, go ahead and click the flash. And it will take a little bit of time before it's finished. It's probably going to be a few minutes. And like I said before, Linux is really great operating system. It's free. 
uh, you don't have to pay for it it has a lot of cool features it is very safe and if you want to check my other video why you should try linux instead of windows you can check out my video i'm going to put the link in the upper right corner and i'll put it in the description as well it is very good and this is one of the reasons why i'm installing linux on my pc because it is very safe there's much less viruses for linux than windows so if you want to feel comfortable and safe you should try linux all right it's almost finishing up yeah there we go so the flash is complete we can go ahead and close it and the next step what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and install it on our pc okay let's do that so plug in the usb stick in the laptop then go ahead and turn on the laptop i recommend using the usb 2.0 because sometimes USB 3.0 may not work properly if there are missing drivers. USB 2.0 seems to be working better. Then in the start menu, just choose start Linux Mint. As you can see, there are a few different options you can choose from. We're going to choose start Linux Mint. And it's going to start Linux Mint from the USB stick. So we can install it permanently on the computer. All right, so once Linux Mint has started, just go ahead and click on install linux mint in the upper left corner here it's going to bring a dialog box where we can choose language you can choose the language that you like i'm going to choose english and then press continue then you can also choose the keyboard layout that you like i'm also going to stick with english and press continue after that it's going to ask you if you want to connect to the internet i would recommend to connect to the internet right away because it will install additional software and additional drivers so you don't have to do it later if you don't have the internet connection you can skip that step you can choose i don't want to connect to the wi-fi network right now but if you have a wi-fi i would recommend you connect to it right now because then you can use internet connection to download additional software and additional drivers after the connection has been established go ahead and press continue and then on the next step, you need to highlight this box, install multimedia codecs, and press continue. On the next step, we need to choose the installation type. Since we're going to be installing Linux Mint alongside with Windows 10, you can choose either the first option, install Linux Mint alongside with Windows 10, then it will do everything automatically. But if you want to create a separate partition for Linux Mint and install it on a different drive, then you need to choose something else. This will allow us to choose a special partition for Linux Mint. As you can see, I have already created a new partition for Linux Mint. It's going to be a 100 gigabyte partition. You need to prepare this partition for Linux Mint. Then it will be located on completely different disk than Windows. And it's not going to be on the same disk. So go ahead and highlight this partition and then click change. Use as should be set to ext journal file system. The mounting point should be the forward slash. Then click OK. After that, all the preparations are done. You can also check the format box and then press install now. It's going to tell you that this partition will be formatted and you will lose all the information on this partition. So make sure there is no important information saved on this partition. Otherwise, you will lose that information permanently. So if you haven't checked that yet, don't click continue. So if you're sure there is no important data on that partition, go ahead and press continue. Then you need to choose the time zone, press continue. Then you need to set up your username. I'm just going to put Pulsar Tech and you need to choose your password. You can also choose to log in automatically so it doesn't ask you for your password every time you turn on your computer or you can set to require my password to log in. I do recommend using the password to log in because you never know who might use your computer. And you can also choose encrypt my home folder. This will give you extra layer of security in case somebody gets access to your computer the folder will be encrypted it will also require a password to get to the home folder content so this gives you another layer of security after that press continue it's going to start installing different files this might take about 10 minutes depending on your computer but i'm just going to fast forward it and show you how it works so after the installation has finished just go ahead and press restart now then it will tell you to remove the installation medium and press enter so go ahead and pull out the usb stick and press enter it's going to restart your computer and then we can check out linux mint all right there we go linux mint has started and it starts with a welcome screen which gives you a lot of different settings for your linux mint so you can set it up the way you like it 
we're not going to do a complete review of this window and all the settings that you get and that you can change in Linux Mint. You can check it in my other video. I'm planning to make another video pretty soon. So stay tuned. Subscribe to the channels for more interesting videos about Linux Mint. I'm planning to have a lot of good content for Linux on my channel. So make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. Also, if you find this video helpful, please give it a like. If you have questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. And if you have suggestions on what next Linux video you want me to make, also leave a comment down below in the comment section and I will try to make that video as soon as I can. All right, this is it for now. I hope you guys enjoy your day. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.